There is a groundbreaking development in Africa. The rift is several miles long, and some believe it is a sign that the continent is splitting in two. The ground beneath East Africa is alive, and it's about to change forever. In 2005, a series of powerful earthquakes shook the Afar region, followed by a volcanic eruption that marked the start of something extraordinary. The Earth's crust is stretching apart, and in the heart of this transformation lies the birth of a new ocean. Imagine watching continents split and the landscape shift right before your eyes. The East African Rift is a living story of creation, where magma and seismic activity reveal secrets about our planet's future. This video takes you through this incredible journey of change. Let's explore what happens when the Earth decides to reshape itself. It's happened, excuse me, I'm out of breath with excitement at this stage, to think this happened overnight. This is the stuff of Hollywood. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below, it helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. In September 2005, a series of extraordinary events unfolded in the remote Afar depression of Ethiopia. Over 130 earthquakes shook the land within a single week, each tremor carrying an urgent message from deep within the earth. For the people living there, it was as if the ground beneath their feet had come alive, unpredictable, powerful, and relentless. The quakes were not random, they marked the earth's crust stretching and breaking apart. The earth had literally ripped itself apart, with magma surging into newly formed cracks. On September 26, the Dabahu volcano erupted. It wasn't the kind of eruption that draws global headlines, but its impact was profound. Fiery magma broke through the surface, massive fissures split the ground, and ash filled the air. Thousands of people, many of whom depended on the land for survival, were forced to flee. Families lost their homes, their livestock, and their sense of security, facing an uncertain future in a land that no longer felt stable. While communities struggled to recover, geologists and seismologists looked deeper. This was a rare and astonishing glimpse into Earth's inner dynamics, a rifting process unlike anything seen before. It was a reminder of the planet's raw power and the intricate balance between destruction and discovery, urging us to reflect on our connection to this ever-changing world. In 2005, the Earth beneath Ethiopia's Afar region began to shift in ways that felt almost unimaginable. A volcanic eruption at Dabahu triggered a dramatic transformation, splitting the landscape wide open. Over 37 miles of deep fissures scarred the ground, revealing molten rock and thermal activity below. In just days, entire sections of the terrain shifted, a process that normally takes millions of years unfolding before human eyes. Imagine the Earth itself stretching, pulling apart at its seams, driven by forces deep below. Scientists, armed with satellite imagery and seismic tools, captured this rare event as the Somali and Nubian plates began to diverge. The movement fractured the crust, creating pathways for magma to rise and forcing the Earth to reveal its inner workings. For those observing, it wasn't just a geological phenomenon, it was like witnessing the birth of a new ocean. This isn't just a story about rocks and magma, it's a window into the Earth's past and future. The Afar Depression offered a rare glimpse of processes that likely shaped ancient landmasses like Pangaea millions of years ago. It was as if the planet had opened its history book for us, showing how continents break apart and oceans are born. Magma surging from below acted like a silent architect, pushing the plates further apart. For scientists, this alignment of forces was a revelation, a moment where theory met reality. But the story doesn't end with Dabahu's eruption. This event marked the start of a journey, one that will continue to reshape not just the region's geography but also the way we understand our planet. In Afar, the Earth is restless. It's a place where the ground itself seems alive, destined to rewrite the map of Africa. This is a story of transformation, not just of the land but of our connection to the dynamic, evolving world beneath our feet. Beneath the surface of East Africa, the Earth is alive, shifting and evolving in ways that remind us of its incredible dynamism. The East African Rift, a sprawling geological marvel stretching over 3,000 kilometers from Ethiopia's Afar Depression down to Mozambique, is not just a crack in the Earth's crust. It's a story of creation, destruction, and transformation unfolding in real time. Here, the Earth is tearing itself apart, splitting the African continent into two. In doing so, it holds the promise of birthing a new ocean. 
At the heart of this transformation lies the interaction between two tectonic plates, the Somali plate drifting southeast and the Nubian plate moving northwest. Their divergence is more than just a mechanical process, it's a dance of immense forces driven by magma welling up from deep within the Earth's mantle. This molten rock intrudes into the rift, creating pressure that pushes the plates apart, forming cracks, fissures, and fault lines. As the plates drift, the crust stretches thin, becoming fragile and vulnerable to further splitting. But what makes this phenomenon so extraordinary isn't just its scale, it's the fact that we can witness it. In many parts of the world, tectonic changes take millions of years to become apparent. Here, the East African rift is alive with activity, visible within human lifetimes. Earthquakes rumble through the region, new fissures appear, and volcanic eruptions mark the surface, reminding us of the immense energy at play beneath our feet. Magma's role in this process is profound. As it seeps into fissures and cools, it creates new crust, a cycle of destruction and renewal that mirrors the processes at work in mid-ocean ridges beneath the sea. Yet, the rift is not limited to magma's influence. Gravity plays its part, pulling massive sections of the crust downward. As the plates pull apart, this sinking creates deep valleys and towering escarpments, some of which fill with water to form the region's iconic lakes, such as Lake Tanganyika and Lake Malawi. These lakes are not merely scenic. They are a testament to the rift's immense power to reshape landscapes. They trace the rift's trajectory, acting as markers of its progress and offering glimpses into the geological processes shaping the region. The fertile soils around them have supported life for millennia, but this delicate balance won't last forever. One day, water from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean will flood the rift. When this happens, Africa will split into two distinct land masses, and a new ocean basin will form between them. This isn't a far-fetched idea, it's a certainty grounded in the principles of plate tectonics. Similar events have occurred in Earth's history such as the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea, which led to the formation of the Atlantic Ocean. The East African Rift is the early chapter of this same epic geological saga. Although the eventual formation of a new ocean will take tens of millions of years, signs of this future are already visible in the Afar Depression. Parts of the rift already lie below sea level, steadily sinking as magma-induced subsidence continues. Satellite data reveals that the rift is widening by a few millimeters each year a slow but relentless march toward a transformed continent. When the new ocean emerges, it will reshape the region in profound ways. The physical geography of Africa will be altered, creating coastlines where none exist today. New marine ecosystems will flourish, offering opportunities for life to thrive in ways unimaginable now. Yet this transformation will come with challenges. Communities that rely on the rift's fertile valleys and lakes will face displacement as waters encroach. Entire ways of life may need to adapt or disappear, and the human cost of such change cannot be ignored. Volcanic activity, already significant in the rift, may also intensify, posing risks to those who live nearby. Eruptions could disrupt livelihoods, damage infrastructure, and force evacuations. Additionally, the changing geology may influence local climates, altering wind patterns and rainfall, which could impact agriculture and access to fresh water. Despite these challenges, the East African Rift is a reminder of Earth's creative power. It's a vivid demonstration of how tectonic forces continually reshape our planet, creating and destroying in an eternal cycle. The Rift is not merely a geological phenomenon, it is a story of resilience, adaptation, and the unyielding march of time. At its heart lies the Afar Depression, a region that feels like the world's edge. Here, the land seems raw and unfinished, a canvas where nature's forces are at work in their most primal form. The rift is a place of beginnings, offering a glimpse into the processes that have shaped Earth's continents and oceans for billions of years. As we observe these changes, we are reminded of our connection to this planet. The rift's story is our story, a narrative of transformation, uncertainty, and endless possibility. It invites us to marvel at the forces shaping our world, to respect the delicate balance of life sustained by these landscapes, and to ponder what lies ahead for a region that holds within it the power to reshape the very fabric of our planet. In the East African Rift, we see not only the Earth's past, but its future unfolding one millimeter at a time. Deep beneath the surface of East Africa, a quiet yet relentless transformation is taking place, a process that speaks to the immense power of our planet's natural forces. 
The land here is slowly being pulled apart, not in a sudden violent split, but through the steady drift of tectonic plates. It's almost imperceptible on a human timescale, yet over millions of years, this movement will reshape the region entirely, even creating a new ocean where land once stood. At the heart of this change lie the Nubian and Somali plates, two sections of Earth's crust that are moving away from each other at a rate of up to two inches per year. It may sound insignificant, but this slow divergence adds up. Driven by immense currents of heat and molten rock deep in the Earth's mantle, these convection currents push and pull on the crust, creating fractures and weakening the land above. In the East African Rift, this tension is shaping steep valleys, dramatic escarpments, and fissures that carve the landscape into something entirely new. This process isn't unique to East Africa, it mirrors the birth of oceans throughout Earth's history. Millions of years ago, the South American and African continents were pulled apart by similar forces, giving rise to the Atlantic Ocean. Now, in East Africa, we are witnessing this process unfold on land, a rare and extraordinary glimpse into the mechanisms that shape our planet. As the plates pull apart, magma wells up from the mantle to fill the void, solidifying to form new crust. Over time, this cycle of divergence and upwelling will transform the East African Rift into an ocean basin, much like the Red Sea or the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. But this transformation is far from quiet, it comes with constant reminders of the Earth's restless energy. Earthquakes ripple through the region, the result of tectonic stress building and releasing as the plates shift. In some cases, like the Dubaju event of 2005, over 130 earthquakes occurred in just one week, dramatically altering the landscape. These seismic tremors are a stark reminder of the forces at work beneath the surface. Then there are the volcanoes, monuments to the Earth's molten heart. The rift hosts some of the world's most active volcanoes, including Ethiopia's Erta Ale and Tanzania's Oldoinyo Lamai. These fiery giants not only spew magma but also weaken the crust, accelerating the rifting process. Each eruption adds new layers of rock, sculpting the terrain while hinting at the dynamic interplay of magma and crust. Geothermal features also abound in this region, where the Earth's heat rises close to the surface. Hot springs, fumaroles, and boiling mud pools serve as tangible signs of the magma lurking just below, transforming water and land into surreal, otherworldly landscapes. The East African Rift isn't just a geological marvel, it's also a living laboratory of change. At its northern end lies the Afar Depression, a low-lying area already below sea level. Here, cracks in the crust allow magma to meet groundwater, creating lakes of boiling mud and, occasionally, temporary lava lakes. Over time, as the plates continue to drift, and the rift expands. Seawater from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean will pour into this region, giving birth to a new ocean. This vision of the future isn't some far-off fantasy, it's a glimpse into the planet's natural rhythm of creation and destruction. But this transformation isn't isolated, it ripples into the lives of the millions of people who live in the Rift region. For these communities, the land isn't just a scientific wonder, it's home. The constant seismic activity, shifting landscapes, and volcanic eruptions create challenges that demand resilience and adaptation. And yet, there's something profoundly humbling about witnessing this transformation. It reminds us that we are part of a vast, interconnected system, one that's constantly evolving, even if we don't always see it. The rift is a place where the Earth's restless energy meets the surface, reshaping not just the land but also our understanding of how life and geology are intertwined. As we look to the future, questions linger. How will communities adapt to an environment that's constantly in flux? What opportunities might arise from this dynamic process? And what can we learn about our own role within the ever-changing story of our planet? The East African Rift is more than just a geological phenomenon, it's a testament to the power of patience and persistence, a living example of how the world evolves in ways both dramatic and subtle. This transformation, though slow, is unstoppable, a reminder of the forces that have shaped Earth for billions of years and will continue to do so long after we are gone. It's a story of creation, of resilience, and of our deep connection to a planet that's always in motion. Beneath the Earth's surface, a quiet yet extraordinary transformation is taking place in East Africa. The land is splitting, pulled apart by the immense forces of nature, and in its place, a new ocean is beginning to take shape. It's a story written in the language of tectonic plates, the Somali plate and the Nubian plate slowly drifting away from each other. 
the journey begins with the land breaking open, forming deep cracks and fissures that mark the start of something profound. Volcanic eruptions and earthquakes breathe life into the barren landscape, carving valleys surrounded by towering cliffs. Over countless years, these valleys widen and sink, becoming pathways for change. As the rift grows deeper, parts of it sink below sea level. Water from nearby seas whispers its way into the sunken land, creating shallow gulfs where life once thrived on solid ground. It's a quiet yet mesmerizing transformation, a glimpse of what's to come. Eventually, this gulf will stretch further, welcoming the vastness of an ocean. New seafloor will emerge, born from magma rising to fill the gaps, and East Africa will cradle a new ocean, forever reshaping the geography of our world. It's a journey of time, patience, and nature's infinite power. Beneath the surface of East Africa, an extraordinary transformation is quietly unfolding, a story of Earth reshaping itself, one inch at a time. This is the East African Rift, where the land slowly tears apart, preparing to birth a brand new ocean. It's a process so vast and patient that it humbles the mind, reminding us of Earth's unyielding rhythm. Over millennia, scientists believe that in five to ten million years, this rift will fully transform into an ocean, altering the geography and ecosystems of the region forever. Imagine the Somali plate breaking away from the African continent, creating a breathtaking new island, parts of Ethiopia, Somalia, and Djibouti surrounded by vast blue waters. This echoes ancient stories etched in Earth's history, like Madagascar's dramatic split from Africa millions of years ago. Coastlines will shift. Countries like Kenya and Tanzania will gain new shores, and the landscapes we know today will become unrecognizably beautiful. Life, too, will evolve with this change. Ecosystems will adapt, species will find new homes, and human communities will forge new connections to this emerging ocean. As we look at this grand transformation, we are reminded that Earth is alive, ever-changing, ever-creating, a timeless dance of destruction and renewal. The East African Rift invites us to witness the Earth in motion, reshaping itself in ways both profound and awe-inspiring. Beneath its surface, a quiet but powerful transformation is unfolding, echoing the birth of oceans and continents millions of years ago. This is not just geology, it's the pulse of a living planet. Around 30 million years ago, the Arabian plate began drifting away from Africa, creating the Red Sea. It started with fiery volcanic eruptions and tremors, much like what we see in East Africa today. Over time, the rift widened, and magma rose to form a new ocean floor. What once seemed like a chaotic rupture became the cradle of a new ocean. Even further back, 200 million years ago, Pangaea's massive split gave rise to the Atlantic Ocean. This ancient story mirrors what East Africa might become, a place where land yields to water, transforming the continent and connecting us to the planet's timeless rhythm of change. The Earth reshaping itself, shifting and evolving like a living, breathing entity. When continents drift apart or rifts slowly open to form vast oceans, life transforms in astonishing ways. Isolated ecosystems emerge, much like Madagascar's incredible species, which evolved uniquely after breaking away from Africa. As sea floods these rifts, vibrant marine worlds take root, from glowing coral reefs to mysterious deep-sea realms. The land and climate respond, shaping life and reshaping human existence. The East African Rift is one such cradle of possibility, a place where change whispers the promise of new worlds and untold stories of life. As East Africa quietly ushers in a new ocean, the very foundation of our planet is shifting beneath our feet. This transformation could bring life-saving rain to once dry lands, offering new hope for agriculture and ecosystems. But with change comes challenges, wetter regions may dry up, and communities will have to adapt. Nature's resilience is on full display, reminding us that nothing stays the same. As the earth reshapes itself, we're witnessing a story of evolution, not just in the land, but in life itself. What are your thoughts on this incredible transformation? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe Expedition Diaries.